just released the QD Tech Plus 4, a brand new Core XY 3D printer from QD Tech. But what do I think about it? Right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here. Welcome to this video. The Plus 3 from QD Tech. You have to remind that it is not the X Plus anymore. It's just Plus 4. It is a Core XY 3D printer. And just like the one that I have here, a very fast 3D printer. And if you look to how it looks like, it is really beefed up. It's bigger, it's more stylish, display on the top. Well, that one also has a display on the top, but you know, it is all looking much more nicer. I mean, I do like it. Although I do see things that are very, very familiar. But uh, let's dive into the topic, shall we? And here it is, the QD Tech. Oh, I always say QD, maybe it's a QD, but this is a bunkers QD. The QD Tech Plus 3 or QD Plus 4. Well, I mean like, it looks very futuristic, very nice, clean edges. I do like the silver gray color or the silver color. Very nice, very pretty. And uh, you know, it, it drives the focus directly what's inside of the 3D printer. Well, apparently, as I would see this picture. We have here also some other pictures as well. Brands are doing always the same. Take the printer, take a different image, put the image and the printer together, and you will get something like a bad, bad Photoshop. Use the printer print something, leave it in there, take your pictures. How hard can it be? I mean, they, they see other, others doing that, Creality, for example. But anyways, the print volume, let's start with the, with the things that are very obvious. Full auto calibration. Just like on the previous machine, I don't know what they are meaning with full auto calibration, but that one is also doing the same thing. So more advanced, more precise, I don't know, I was already very happy with the X plus 3. I wonder how well that this one is going to perform. The build volume or the print volume of this 3D printer, 305 times 305 times 280. So it is way bigger than the X plus 3. I'm going to compare it with this one, with, uh, with the one that I have, because I heard a lot of people complaining about the X max 3. A second gen, 65 degrees C active chamber heating, just like with the previous versions, they have a active chamber heater, that is amazing, especially if you're printing models or parts that do need to have some enclosure heating or chamber heating. Very ideal. Tool head performance upgrade. We will see what the performance upgrades are. And then compatible with QD Box Multicolor. So here it is. They are also going to add a MMU, AMS, CFS kind of tool changing system. I'm not really sure if they are going to use the one that the, the chroma pad is going to do. Maybe they are developing something on their own or maybe copying something that others already have as well. We will see, we will see. Early bird giveaway, a tungsten carbide nozzle 0.4 one time or a bi-metal hot end. So currently the price of this 3D printer is 799 and it was basically the same price as the QD Tech X Plus 3. So I think for this price, it's an amazing deal. Uh, do we have something else? No, this is basically the same kind of model. I think that this is a model from somebody that I know, but also very clearly visible here. You see on the side what I was mentioning earlier this, this month, that K1 SE, standard edition, according to some. So what do you see now? Also on the front side of the print bed, you can see exactly how big your printer can print. Very convenient, I think. Involving your imagination. Every detail perfectly printed. Well, a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, depending on the layer height, you can print some very nice and cool models. I was printing in the first week that I got the QD Tech X Plus 3. I printed a ton of things and I'm still very happy with the print results that I get from this 3D printer. So I'm very curious how that 3D printer is doing. I know, I know, there was also a printer before this one. I think it was the Q1 Pro or something like that, but that had a heating element underneath the print bed and uh, it had some live wires. So I'm really curious if this 3D printer has the same thing or that QD really listened to the reviews about that 3D printer and did something totally different. I don't know, I didn't hear anything about QD Tech whatsoever about that issue. Revolutionary highlights. So the nozzle heats up to 370 degrees C for high temp printing, a second gen 80 watts bimetal hot end for advanced filament handling. That sounds nice. A 400 watt ultra high heating efficiency, eight minutes to 65 degrees for uh, chamber temperature and uh, air circulation design perfectly balanced chamber temperature with powerful turbo fan well i thought that that one was loud until i got the creality k1 that one was even louder that, that's why i said like 
you know, like airplane lifting up. Machine drive system upgrade, dual independent motor and 10 millimeter linear shafts and screws. No, I cannot click on the image. That's a pity. Upgrade to a six millimeter al aluminum bed for enhanced flatness. As far as I can remember, most of the uh, beds in the past were like four millimeters. So this one should be much more robust and not dissipating all the heat into trying to heat up the heat bed. So I think that, that is pretty cool. Further, I cannot see really much on the picture. I assume that this 3D printer is a Core XY. I see one rod here, I see two rods here, but let's continue scrolling and let's see if this is indeed a Core XY 3D printer. So um, start and control on whatever device you prefer. The open source latest V0.12 clipper. So it uses clipper, so that is cool. Very nice screen, QD Tech. When I see this, it look, reminds me of another program. A new UI and software features. Very pretty, I do like it. This looks like Bamboo Studio, reality print. Why not shoving everything into the slicers that are already on the market instead of developing your own slicer software? Go for, you know, work a slicer. How hard can it be? Newly upgraded multi-material composite nozzle with hardened tip. That is what we want. Easily handling high temperature filaments. So heated bed, 100 degrees. Nozzle, 360. Chamber, 55. That is really cool. PA6, carbon fiber. You know what Nathan pointed out about carbon fibers in filaments? Wear PPE to protect your hands and stuff. A new tool head cooling system. How does this run? I see one fan here. I think that that is for the hot end cooling down for the cool zone of the extruder and then we have here a flat fan that is blowing air but I also see some on this side as well. So one fan uses on both sides in order to do the parts cooling to cool down the filament once it is extruded. I like it. We have also a BL touch or an induction probe so that is very cool and then here some reduced ghosting and ringing. 10 times magnification to show you how well that the layer lines are looking on this 3D printer. 10 times soon, each layer is seamlessly integrated. Well, I do need to agree on that. That looks very nice. But they don't say how how the how big that this layer line is, but it, it's it's not looking too bad. Very nice, almost perfect. So you see on the top, you have those two handles. I'm not really sure if, you, yeah, I think you can lift this 3D printer up like that. Would be very helpful. And we have also a uh, big, huge fan to suck up all the air. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's pulling the air out of the chamber and then reheating it and pushing it back. Nice. Very cool. So this is not a parts cooling fan, guys. This is not a parts cooling fan. Yeah. So basically what they are saying here, if you are not using uh, chamber heating, then you will get, for example, with ABS warping and with chamber heating, you don't have that. So that is pretty cool. Also here, the nice UI on the display. I really like this. This is pretty, very pretty. Uh, machine drive system upgrade. So here, the X plus three, they compare it uh, and they have upgraded to this one. The previous version, this one had 280 times 280 times 270. And now we have 305 times 305 times 280 as a print volume. So bigger, larger. But then is the printer bigger than I have there? So here you have the size on it. Warning, hot surface. Okay, cool. Two stepper motors for moving the uh, bed. Yeah, you have to do something like that because the bed needs to have a lot of stability. You cannot not rely on just one lead screw setup. Upgraded five inch HD screen. Cool. I mean, that, that one was already looking nice, but this one is going to be better even. Equipped with the latest version of Clipper a V.12. So on the previous machine, they had V.10. Now you have 0.12. Yeah, so smart uh, start and control on any device so over you are going to connect it with wi-fi or ethernet so you have both options which i do like this is also going to be with an ai camera equipped or not i don't know it, if it is an optional thing i hope so it, that it is a standard feature inside of the printer that would be nice 1080p so better quality unlike some other printers with their camera and uh, qd studio qd studio it reminds me of bamboo studio but if you are looking here to, to what's on the uh, screenshot, yeah, it does look like Bamboo Studio. But then, you know, made for their printers. 10 minutes setup, pretty cool. For high precision prints out of the box. So you can, uh, you can order it. I will put the link in the description where you can buy this from the site, of course. 
Hey, if you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. Please uh, like this video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think about the new QD Tech Plus 4? Is it a plus or is it a minus?